I know you guys I, didn't make it to the trenches uh, mm -hmm. in the film, Family. but you had the opportunity to be on the set for that. Could you talk about what that sort of production design was like and did it help in the role? Yes, to, to, to answer the last bit, yes, it did help massive amounts. The production design was two acres of churned over land. So even when you were approaching it, driving in in the morning at 4 a.m., you're sort of like looking over at it and it, it had a horror to it from there. Mm. Um, but stepping onto it, it was um, breathtaking because it actually was. You're suddenly like, oh, I haven't breathed for a few minutes, you know, because <laughs> you're down there with a hundred plus guys mm. uh, smoking cigarettes and chatting and drinking the odd cup of tea where you can get it. It felt very real. It was the first time I've worked on a film where I didn't see crew and trucks and I didn't see anything filmed like except for the camera in front of me and that moved away and became a very wide shot and I just got to live there. And, so um, to play the character who survived to that point was um, incredible. And I know that your Joey was a mechanical Joey. He was, for a brief moment, mechanical, but it was a real horse. It was uh, a horse called Thibelon. And you got to actually ride on one of the 14 Joeys. I rode on the on one, yeah. I, 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 there were some moments when I was off Joey when it was another, another Joey, but when I was on horseback, he was called Thibelon. Most Americans were so naive, we assume that all British actors have, you know, learned fencing at a young age and um, horse riding. You're right. And, and, uh, <laughs> Toby has. Accomplished yeah. fencing. Yeah. And uh, just curious, had you ridden horses before? Had you, you know, had, w was that sort of a new experience for, for both you guys? I had ridden um, briefly in, because I had to do some riding on, on Thor, mm. and uh, I've been riding in Simi Valley in California, up and down these dried up riverbeds. But of course, as guardians ride like cowboys, so um, we were on Western saddles with pommels and you know easy bridles and stuff, but but uh, certainly not like a like a cavalry officer. I mean, there was a degree of polish and and um, immaculate presentation and competency that I didn't have. So we were whipped. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I th <laughs> I, th I, I thought I knew how to ride when I when I was asked, <laughs> but uh, it was really I went I spent my childhood going to the horse races so I just sort of assumed I knew mm. horses but um, no we it was a very steep learning curve but the most satisfying one of the most satisfying things I've ever done it was it was incredible we we were we were being taught by this young she's a girl she was 17 Sam, Sam Dent who uh, you know was kind of had all the the anarchy of a teenager but also the kind of the it's wisdom of iron discipline as yeah. well. And she she taught uh, you how to charge with. Yep. Um, it was a well, well, then, was a combination then, then, of people. Then we had a lot of the Spanish, these amazing Spanish guys came in, and there was some some Polish. There were. Yeah, was, let me uh, tell you, there are these Spanish these Spanish groomsmen who work on all of all films mm. that involve horses. That Toby worked with them on Prince of Persia. They actually taught me to ride. Um, they work on Robin Hood with Ridley Scott and Gladiator, and and. Um, they're working on Snow White and the Huntsman Alexander. now. Alexander. Alexander, they, and they are the unsung heroes, really, yeah, because right. they come from Madrid and they have the stables over there, and they don't speak a word. They don't speak much English, um, but they understand these horses like, um, like almost spiritual mm. best friends or something. They have such command over there that they're like horse whisperers. Mm. They, you think you know a lot about the world and about acting and then you meet these guys who aren't actors and they're better at it than yeah. you are. And you and think, real characters. They yeah. call Hernan Indio because yeah. he looks like an Indian, a red yeah. Indian. Yeah. They yeah. call him Indio. He looks yeah. like he's made Chains Indio. Smoke. And he talks like this. <laughs> Whoa. I oh. told me. Yeah. My, yeah. My best moment was when he went, hey, very good. After, <laughs> after I did a take. Yeah, yeah that's, that was almost even better than yeah. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs>